Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to fix the product disapproval promotional overlay on image image link. I'm gonna make it super easy in this video, show you exactly how to fix it so you can get your shopping campaigns back live again and making more money. So you'll see this in your account here. It says promotional overlay, the problem right there, and we've got two items affected here. Maybe you have more items affected. This is the number of products. You can see exactly what products are affected by just calling view samples and then opening up this tab here and it's gonna show you the actual products affected. So we'll see, let's open up this image. So it links directly to the image. Yep, this one here has this text over here. Google doesn't like that. I'll leave a link to this page here. It's about automatic image improvements. This shows you examples of what Google doesn't like. They don't like this image on here uh, the, with the text on there. They don't like the logos, um, all the overlays or anything like that. They want a really basic image that just has the product and a white background. I know it's boring, it sucks. It's not the best for CTRs, click-through rates and getting more conversions, but it's kind of what Google wants. They're trying to standardize their whole platform. Now, I have seen many times, I've actually gotten past this by having promotional overlays on the image. Like in this case, we ran that for a very long time, years without any problems and it performed so well, a really high CTR. For this product as well, it's a special type of product where it's really advantageous for us to do this. In your case, maybe it is too. Well, if you can upload a new image and get past the filter, it is good. I've never seen someone get their whole account disapproved for this, so you can still try it. Don't quote me on that, it could still happen, but largely it's quite safe. But yeah, if, you, if you're still getting this error, let me show you how to fix it right now. So the first thing you need to do is in your Merchant Center account, I want you to go to the top and go to Automatic Improvements. So Settings, Automatic Improvements. It's gonna open up this Settings panel here in the image improvements section, you wanna make sure that it says enable automatic image improvements. So it is, if it is off, turn it on, okay? And then click save over here. That's the first thing you need to do. Really, really important guys. What Google is gonna do there is they're going to apply their own algorithm to try and remove the actual uh, overlays. So this bit here, it's gonna look like this. They're gonna remove that, it's gonna look like that. Look like that, it's look like that. And this maybe makes your product look actually worse. So turning that on is gonna automate things. So especially if you have a lot of products, but it may actually make your product look worse. So what you can do is upload a manual image anyway. But if you've already turned that on and Google is still, so there it is turned on, but Google is still disapproving your products because of that, it means that their algorithm wasn't able to fix it. So we have two ways to fix this right now. First way is to actually upload a new image and then adjust the feed. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. The next thing we do, the second thing, is actually using feed rules. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. The second version is actually easier, but if I were you, I would actually try and fix the feed first, uh, but feed rules can work too, and it's super, super easy. Anyway, so let me show you how to fix the actual feed. So uh, right here, we have uh, the products that are disapproved. I'm gonna pull up the feed. In this case, we have Google Sheets feed for this store here that we're using. This is an example Google Sheets. So this is actually the real one, but it's one a good example and it, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. So uh, this is their feed here. And so we're gonna go through and go back here and actually find the products that were disapproved. And then we need to change the actual image link. So here, the image link, we need to change that. So the USA SIM got approved, uh, disapproved for the image link. So here's the image link here. We need to replace this. So how do you replace that? Well, there's two ways. You can either upload a new image to the product page. Okay, so how do you actually upload a new product photo to your Shopify store? Really easy, you should know how to do this already, but going into your products over here, find the products, upload a new image to that product. The problem is that's likely gonna show up on your product page. Maybe you wanna put an image up that isn't gonna be shown on your website, but is still shown in the actual feed. Super easy. Go to this URL here, just go to your Shopify dashboard URL and just put slash files. This is gonna take you to this page here that you can then use to actually upload files, images, PDFs, anything to your site and actually store them on your site. It's actually really handy for a number of different reasons, but especially in this case, you just click upload files, select the file you wanna upload, upload it there, and then it's gonna give you the actual URL. So these are all images that were uploaded previously. For example, if this was the new product photo that I wanted to use in this feed, I would just copy that, go straight over to the feed, and then just edit this here, this image, and just paste that straight in. And then that's done, the feed is updated. And then all I have to do is go back to my actual feed. So we're gonna go back into Google Merchant Center, go to the feed section over here, click on the feed, and then we're gonna reprocess this feed. You may have done this before when you actually set up your, your product feed, but you're gonna go over here, there's a button, reprocess feed, that refetches the feed, recrawls the Google Sheets feed and finds the product image and then updates that in the actual feed. You'll find out pretty quickly within five, 10 minutes if it's actually been approved without any issues. Now, what about if your feed is set up on the Simproces app, the Google Shopping app, Content API? Well, you're gonna to have to do it for your store based on how you've set up that feed. Usually, you'll be able to go into that app, Simproces, you can edit the actual fields, just find the image link, 
and edit it for that, that product and paste in just like we did here, upload the new image and then paste it in for that actual product to update the image link variable there. If you're using Content API or you, you upload it directly into Merchant Center, you can edit them in Merchant Center too, that's fine. I'm not gonna go into that in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to do it for your actual feed. Every store is different depending on how you've set up your feed, but something that you can do, even if you have no idea how to do that, if you just heard what I said and you're just like, oh man, that's confusing, Sam, I have no idea what to do, tell me what to do. Let me show you a really, really easy trick that you can use right now, no matter how your feed is set up. All you have to do is we're gonna go back into the feed here and I'm gonna go back here to make it really easy. Go to feeds on the left, click on your feed, and then up here, we have something called feed rules, okay? I have a video on feed rules, um, and I'm gonna link that in the description below. But basically, feed rules are a way for you to make adjustments to the feed without needing to go into the actual source of the feed, okay? So basically, you can tell Google, based on these conditions, I wanna change my feed. For example, maybe you wanna change your feed for all the products that are below $20. Or you can apply a rule that says, okay, if products are below $20, change this to this, add this text to the title, what have you. There are a million ways you can use this. I go through a lot of them in my video there, but I'm gonna show you exactly what to do here for the image problem here. So we're just gonna click the plus sign here to create a new rule. And this is gonna ask us, what do we actually wanna change? Well, of course, we wanna change the image link. So we're gonna to go to image link here, it's gonna open up a new settings panel here where we can actually start creating this rule. So the first thing you wanna do is actually change the condition. So we're gonna to go to process attributes. So we're gonna change this if the ID is a certain ID. I'm gonna explain what that means in a second, but let me just put, like, just copy exactly what I do. ID, ID equals, and then all you have to do is go back to your actual the, the dashboard here that we looked at at the very start of the video that showed the item ID of the affected items. These were the two products that, that were disapproved based on the, the image link. We're just gonna copy the ID and then go back here and paste that in. So if the ID equals this ID set, and then we're gonna go to the image that we uploaded already, copy that, go back to the rule, paste, okay. I'm gonna explain exactly what I did just here just so it's really, really clear, guys. So what I'm doing here is I'm telling Google, okay, if my ID is this, change the image link to this. Are you following me? So let me go back to the disapproval. If the item ID is this, so if it's this product here, we wanna change the image link, which is disapproved, to a new image. This one right here that we've already uploaded. Of course, you've uploaded your own one. Super, super easy. Once that's done, click OK. It's so gonna load, do that, that's all good. Save as draft, awesome, fantastic. Okay, cool. Now, this is like in a test mode here where it's actually gonna see, okay, what's gonna happen. You can actually click test changes. It's gonna tell you like how the feed is actually gonna change, which is fine. This is a dummy URL, so that's gonna apply that. You're just gonna have to click apply. That's all you have to do. It's a dumb URL, but it's gonna, it's not gonna be a good thing. But anyway, that's now live, that's created. Um, and that is there, so if ID equals this, set the image link, image link here, to this. Super, super easy. Now, all you do, I would go re reprocess the feed and it should update. Maybe it takes five minutes, 10 minutes, but that should fix the error. If it's still getting an error, check, do you still have promotional text on that new image? If, if so, T remove it off, just get it get it approved for the first time, then you can start testing things to try and get it approved. So that's the overall thing. If you don't know how to change your feed, that's totally fine. You can use that feed rule that I just showed you just there to get it done yourself without needing to go to your feed like I did here and actually edit anything. It can be all done within the Google Merchant Center dashboard. Anyway, guys, I really hope that was really, really clear for you guys. I broke it down those steps so you could follow along and fix that for yourself. There are a lot of really frustrating errors that happen in Google Merchant Center with product disapprovals. I know what it's like. You feel like you're banging your head against the wall. Um, hope this cleared that up for you for this error in particular. If you haven't watched my other videos, go check them out. And if this video was helpful for you getting this product disapproval fixed, please give it a thumbs up and just let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate that, guys. Anyway, take a look at my other videos if you'd like, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.